Our last story today might tempt you to head off on your summer holidays. Take the car to Donegal, catch the ferry at Bartonport, and after a half an hour at sea, you'll arrive on Aranmore Island. The locals there have just announced very ambitious plans to make their island the ultimate tourist destination for those looking for a break away from it all. The last census put the population of Aranmore Island at just over 700 people, but according to islanders, at any one time 200 of those would be away working, many of them employed on the Cross Channel Tunnel in England. The decline of the fishing industry has seen the back of many people, while others have turned to alternatives, particularly tourism. It's now a lot easier to get to the island, with the ferry service operating from Burtonport, and soon there'll be more attractions on the island to travel for, thanks to the initiative of the islanders themselves, who organised an architectural competition to design a holiday village for the island. The announcement of the result of that competition with a £9,000 prize fund brought out the island band and the whole community to celebrate the beginning of a project that will be a great boost to Aaron Moore. There to announce the prize winners of O'Dowd, O'Hurley and Horan Architects of Black Rock in Dublin was the Minister of State for the Gwaith of Pat the Cope Gallagher. O'Dowd, O'Hurley and Horan beat over 40 different architectural firms in the competition and they'll now build the holiday village on this site at Falagowan. Because of the, the death of the fishing industry here, uh, we got together through the Integrated Rural Development Programme and with Uders uh, Nagelthata and Ron Nagelthata, all the officials, the tourists, Fort Falcha, to see what we could put in place of the, of the fishing industry. We did come up with the idea of the holiday village and uh, that would have first class self catering accommodation, other facilities, uh, leisure facilities like pitch and pot court. Um, tennis courts. Uh, we intend to renovate two old houses to back to Donegal Buyer House style again, but the heritage houses really. The Holiday Village will boast a pitch and put course and other leisure facilities alongside the scheme of 10 houses, which are of traditional style and designed to blend in with the surrounding landscape. And they come in two sizes. The smaller type consists of the usual three bedrooms. Uh, living space, kitchen, dining. These two houses here are larger than the other houses and they can be either used as single units which accommodate large families or they can be divided into two smaller units. Uh, Armour Island on any day but particularly a day like this is very easily sold but to uh, entice people to come here then uh, these units, these 10 units must be provided and I would hope that this would just be the first phase. So for short stay holidays uh, for people who want to get away from uh, the sun, uh, they want to get away from the crowded beaches of the Mediterranean and I think people are looking to the natural trails now and what more natural place in Ireland could one come to but to this beautiful island. I suppose one of the things most people look for when they go on holiday uh, is peace and we have that here. We have nice clear beautiful beaches and clean water and uh, we have friendliness here and if we have our holiday village and all the facilities that go with it we should have everything a tourist would need. The village will take some time to complete, but in the meantime, the islanders are working on other schemes to attract tourists to Aaron Moore, like two walks, which will be ready by July. And as they say themselves, they're always happy to have people come and stay with them for a while.